Hey, how's it going? <laughs> hey. Hello and welcome to another day of the video diary. I think it's 220, but I've got the foggiest idea since everything's so confused recently with the video diary um, because I'm so far behind on everything. What's going on today? We are walking down to college for results day. I'm taking particle accelerator 2.2, not 2.2, 2.0, silly. And all of my computing stuff because I aim to finish significant algorithms today. Also, we're going to IKEA to go and get, um, oh God, nearly lost the ping pong ball to get a second uh, shelf because the shelf I have bought from them is damaged so we're going to get it replaced and refunded and stuff basically and um, then I'm going to show you my desk because it's amazing and you, you I know you want to see it but uh, just walking around with it bowl really how cool does that look? I don't even know don't even know how cool it is this one should be better than the goldfish bowl because it's perfectly it's not like really sharply curved up so that the ball just doesn't go onto it and then gravity just wins instantaneously. Whereas this will have time to accelerate and accelerate and accelerate and then equate itself to gravity's... Don't fall! Uh, equate itself to gravity's what's my do, what's my do hickey and etc. Yes. <clears throat> okay. So, the bowl itself gets me enough attention as it is, so I'm going to talk to you later. Walking home. I don't know what I said to you last. What did I say to you last? She is looking at me freaking weird. Okay, I am walking home from Le College now. I'm bringing my bowl back because we couldn't get the particle accelerator to work. We tried to make a linear one before we made a circular one and it just doesn't work. If you've ever done like physics, every single experiment you do never works. They just say, right, this is what should happen. It doesn't happen. We don't know why. It's just weird. Even though they're like, this is the rules of the universe. You do an experiment. It's not, you never get what you expect to get. Um, so, can't do the particle accelerator. Instead, I'm making electromagnetic brakes, which uh, someone else is doing as well. So I'm going in like head to head competition with them, which isn't good really, considering that I've got to finish computing over the same time period as that competition as well. But anyway, um, and then I did computing. And I believe now, I'll tell you about computing in a minute. Or later, so what I'm going to be doing this evening, so I'll tell you then. Um, elsewise, I'm going to go back inside to Father. Father's going to take me to Ikea. We're going to replace, swap the shelves we got, because one of the shelves I got was chipped. So we need to swap that with one that isn't chipped. And I need a desk protector for my desk, so that my laptop's feet don't scratch it. We Home from all things outside, we've just been to Ikea. I say just been to Ikea, we've been there for way too long. Everyone think I don't have things to do when I get home, but bleh. Okay, so I said I'd show you around my room as it happens. Okay, basically, not much has changed on this side. It's literally all the same, except now this is where my bags get dumped. Yeah, laptop bag, school bag, camera bag. Then obviously the tripod and stuff and stuff. Then stuff gets starts getting a little bit weird as my calendar is there instead of my poster, because my poster's there, the FDBA. And here's my wardrobe, which is ever so strange because I keep going over there to get things for my wardrobe and vice versa. Um, and then pan around, it's very clearly still in that corner. And there's my desk. <laughs> so my desk essentially consists of the, I count this as my desk, my two speakers up there, which are good, my Xbox and things here, my TV there, which I use for dual desktops and stuff with my laptop, not just Xbox. This is things and my battery is low, although it is also a TV and for the Xbox as well. That's good. Um, it's got my little speakers there and there with the base underneath there, the white one. Also, down there we have the stereo, which powers those two. And I need a optical audio cable, which will reach from the TV to the stereo so that I can have those on instead of the dodgy TV speakers because I'm an audiophile, okay? And then also underneath the thing, we've obviously got your bin, you need a bin, um, the power plug, so you're not allowed to look under here because of how many wires and stuff. You can't see, luckily, because it's dark, um, but there's loads of wires, they're all over the shop. Um, bin and that long thing there, which, one, doubles up as an amazing little comfortable footrest thing for your feet. And also powers that that speaker and that speaker there behind the ukulele. Um, and then that's it, really. I'm thinking about getting a lamp, but I don't think I need it because I've obviously got that, which is all good, and the hood. Theoretically, then, oh, I've got this, this cover here, which protects the, the table from my laptop's feet. I'm writing on it because I'm a hard writer. I would break loads of pens, which is brilliant, brilliant fun, basically. 
I love my desk, it's amazing. Then obviously my chair, which I'm sat on currently. Um, the idea is that it's big enough that I can push things away and still like spread out. I literally got the biggest I could fit in the room. Um, even the TV on it there isn't taking up. I can still fit my arm there, it's brilliant, it's massive. And, which brings me to the final corner of the room, which is my bookshelf, yay! And my guitars, my guitars are down there at the bottom. All right then, so on the top is strictly work stuff, so I've got like cutters and my watch and stuff and stuff and stuff, holiday form. This one here is ingeniously placed because it's got these wooden things here, and here, and here. So, I thought, I know, we'll have this one and we'll make it like a display of all the things that I think are cool, and then this one will kind of be the same, but as you walk in, you can't see half of the things that are embarrassing, like they're there for a purpose. So like, hand cream for my hands because I'm a pansy. <laughs> um, old teddy bear things, um, deodorant, which I don't even, what? <laughs> um, Xbox chargers and stuff like that. Nintendo, it slightly gets cooler as you go along. It's got like my um, Nintendo DS. Uh, old Game Boy, old Game Boy, got like rock and roll. I'm a cool ass Mosakura. And then my homage to the It's the Music student with the camera, the microphone and the dictionary. Woo, not many people will get that, but I do. So it's cool. As you kind of like walk through, it gets progressively uncalled. It's like, wee, yay. Next shelf down is the display thing. So I've got things, all of the things that I find cool and stuff and stuff and stuff and stuff. I've got the starter phone that lovely got me there. Uh, a random car there. My old bookmark, which my nano got me, which is awesome. Put that there. A teddy bear lovely got me and a DFTBA thing that I got when I ordered Tom Milson's CD and it kept arrived today actually so that's a new addition to this very old room and some science putty a slinky that lovely got me which is awesome um, the photo book that I talk about for endlessly of how amazing it is it's a photo album and things that has little labels on that mean lovely share anyway that's not for you um, and then I have my minis no mini 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 and then that's a mini as well that is actually a Someone awkwardly walks up the stairs and listens to me talking to myself, but that's fine. Um, yeah, which is just a little uh, gift card thing that goes on, you know, like a little tag on a present that you put on, and it's all mini. That came with my other mini, which is down here, which is a money bank, which is cool. Um, Lovely's mother went a bit mini mad. I've got me every, every, all mini things. Um, I then have my bookcase, which is OCD'd to hell, but it's a bizarre OCD that you won't be able to figure out. It's got, this shelf has got all books that I've read. Is it? Yes, it is, yeah. <laughs> um, and the ones at the back are the ones that... Uh, no, they're not. The ones at the back are all books that I've read. There we go. The ones at the front are books that I want to read. And then these ones are also books I want to read. But these ones are the ones that I'll read before those ones. If that makes sense. Uh, it should do. There's like one from each author and stuff like that. And then at the bottom, you've got uh, computing stuff and stuff. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, that's all of the books I want to read. Hit my watch and the thing. And then I've got computing stuff down there information books and stuff behind the guitars and things. Um, it's also got Lovely's little money maze thing down there to remind me that if you ever want to be rich, do some freaking work. Right, okay, that's everything. I need to do some ICT, upload a video, do some descriptions, even though I don't have time. Let's go. Uh, let's just sit at my desk and do some work for the first time ever. Whoa, 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 what do you mean, word? Show repairs, wait, wait, wait. Show repairs, we fixed these repairs. No, you didn't fix them, you broke them. That was a perfectly legitimate text box and then you deleted all of the text from it and now I can't click on it. What have you done to me, you swine? Oh my flipping God. Ah, word, my Microsoft Word is so pants. We just bugs out on me all the time. Well, that's check, checked. 20 pages of annotating code, it took me an hour and a half, but good thing is, 20 pages of code to annotate, it took me an hour and a half, but the good thing is, look now, we've only got, oh, let me refocus, this nice little end game function here, which is tiny and short, and then it's just private sub colour board check, and that's all nice and, nice and small there, look, oh, oh no, oh god no, please, please don't let it be so. <laughs> what I don't wanna, I don't wanna. How's it going? I have literally spent the last six hours. Who's walking around upstairs? Right, yeah, I've literally spent the last six hours just doing straight computing. It's been brilliant. I sat on my desk just typing away and the time just flies by and you don't even notice. If I was downstairs there, then there's like the TVs on and people are talking, well, 
really talking there and then Sid's walking around and it's just all distracting and you don't know like what's what but it's in my own little office it's like my own little world where work is the only thing I can do and I'm literally just sat there with music on just going, just going for it and over the past six hours I have completed uh, the two monsters on the significance testing algorithm testing thing um, which means that checkmate and stalemate are dead Yes! I did more of that as well. Yeah, I did a couple more algorithms as well in between them. There's just a couple of small ones that don't really count. Um, I think they took a page each or something ridiculously small like that. Um, that's now hit 135 pages and what I've got left now is essentially the questions half of my coursework, which is small. And that's it, nothing big is coming up. There's a lot of small ones, but nothing big is coming up, which should theoretically mean that one more night of doing this will get it completely out of my way. And I have Saturday morning and all of Sunday for work. So that's brilliant. We're catching up with computing, which is a good thing. One stress reduced. Yay. Another stress has been increased somewhat, however, as we've got our um, reset results back today. And... I'm not very happy with them. They've upgraded, they've gone up a little bit. A little bit, but I'm not very happy. My physics has turned from a B to a stronger B. Yay. Um, further maths overall has jumped from a B to an A, but mechanics only jumped from a C to a B. C1, the really easy one, I think went down. And C3 was a horrific fail. And I've done some definite reset, so I'm looking at tomorrow, which is why I've lost my... Because I'm useless. <laughs> um, I think lovely might have it, actually. No, I'm, I'm useless, so I've lost the sheet that tells me how, what grades I've got and what. So I'll tell you um, about it more when it's important. But tomorrow I'm going to talk to my maths teacher about which modules are worth resitting. Because I've got to do nine exams. I've got to do nine. No, I've got to do ten because C one's a definite reset. Um, I've got to do ten exams. I'm not sure how worthwhile it is to add mechanics onto that list. But I've got already got straight. I don't know. Yeah, see, I've got to talk to my maths teacher to decide about that on Monday. I'll talk to my physics teacher to talk about reset and physics, <clears throat> and I might mention it to my computing teacher. No, I won't. I'm not resetting computing. Uh, my coursework should carry me through. It's just now I know exactly what grades I need to get into university and I know how hard they are. They're a lot harder to get than I thought they would be. I was expecting to come out of this thing with just straight A's, which is really annoying. <laughs> um, and I feel really bad as well because I'm the kind of person who gets B's, strong B's, or even an A, gets an A and isn't happy with it because it's not an A star. That's really bad. Like the, Half the people in our class has got like 84% in C3, I've got a lot less than that. <laughs> got 84%, and that isn't enough for resitting to get above 90% to push for the A star. And we feel, I feel really bad for all the people who don't have that thing, who kind of go like get a D and go yay or like that. Not good, not good, not good. But I know how good it is. How how much I want to go to my preferred university. I know how much I really, really want to go there and I know how hard I'm going to have to work to get the grades to get in. I thought it would be a lot easier than it is and I really need to buckle down and find time to do stuff like maths and just practice the techniques more. Like I used to, I used to come home and do the entire exercise at home just because I had the time. But now because computing, I don't have the time. As soon as my computing coursework's handed in, I'm sorted. The amount of free time I have is going to be mind-blowing. It's going to be absolutely insane. I spent, I would have had six hours tonight. Six hours of free time to do maths, further maths, anything. There's no reason to drop anything. It's just computing. It's just getting in the way. Just for now. Just for now. Just for three more weeks. So I really need to buckle down on the revision and things. And me and Lovely are going to start working together more to help ourselves revise and teach ourselves maths together better so that we can improve and all that jazz. I'm going to pay a lot of attention to revising physics because it's between physics and the maths <clears throat> is going to drop. I need, I need basically only three A's, an A star, A, B. The A star is looking unlikely. I'm not going to lie in maths. It's looking unlikely because I'm going to have to, re definitely going to have to reset to get it. Um, so it's not looking good, but I'm pushing for it because I'm, uh, it's also not looking immensely likely to get A's or B's, A's an A in either further maths or normal maths, 
because although I've got an A now in further maths, this year is next to impossible. FP2 is a kick in the teeth and it's really hard and I'm really struggling with it. Even though mechanics and decision are relatively easy, it doesn't make up for the fact that FPs are really hard. Um, and, <coughs> and physics, even though physics is really weird because if you were to ask me any of the things that are in my test, I would tell you like that. But in the test, you put, you know the answer, but it asks it in like a really obscure way to try and make you do it wrong. So then you're answering, I've never got higher than a B in any physics test. But I know if you would have asked me any questions, just casually, just like, oh, hey, hey, um, what's this? I would be able to tell you. But in an exam, I can't tell you, it's just the way it's asked. It's really, really strange. I don't know, I just can't explain it. So I've got to really book up to get my three A's. <sighs> Basically. And my desk upstairs is going to be helping me since I've sat up there for six hours. Just listening to music, beasting computing. I've never worked so fast and so dedicated before in my life. I'm terrible. Terrible. I've even uploaded... Well, that's not really a dedication, like... <clears throat> but I've uploaded... My voice is going... I've uploaded and edited two videos for all the daily vlogs, so I'm catching up slowly. And that, I just, oh, it's just amazing how much more productive the desk is. And I'm hoping that it will enable me to really, really do lots and lots and lots of work and revision and things to bump these grades up. I'll tell you more about the grades when I go through my resits and stuff with you, uh, Mr. Diary. And well, I actually have the sheet to compare with, because that would help. Um, okay then, so tomorrow, what's going to Hound? Uh, we have maths all day. It's further maths, further maths, maths, maths. Which means everyone's going to be talking about their grades, and I probably did the worst in the class, I think, considerably. Which isn't good at all. <laughs> but it's a kick in the teeth, because they'll all bully me for having the worst result, and they'll be like, fuck you. Next time, I'm going to big bust your ass. <clears throat> Hopefully. Oh yeah, it's a stressful day, and for the maths today I've got to talk to my maths teacher about the resets and all that jazz, and um, I've got to avoid falling in, falling out with people who are like, oh I only got 91%, I want to reset, yeah, yeah, just someone in that class is going to be really annoying tomorrow, and I can tell in advance how much of an absolute douchebag he's going to be. But anyway, that's my problem. Um, and then after that, after school, after discussing resits with my math teacher, we're going round to Laura's friend's house for a birthday party. And then uh, it's basically an honour birthday party. Lovely's sleeping over. I'm coming back here, and then on Saturday, Lovely's coming here. We're having a day off together in the afternoon. We'll have the morning work afternoon off and then she'll stay for uh, dinner and stuff in the evening and then Sunday it's work 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 that's basically my plan for the next couple of days I shouldn't have told you that this video has got exceptionally long and I apologize for the long video but it's been interesting hopefully it has you see my desk my freaking desk I love that desk that's like the best thing I've ever bought well okay no not quite but it's and meant I went upstairs. I was like, oh, I'm gonna go do some work on it. Ah, it's great. And I can even, it's, oh, it's just an entity. I don't know. I just, just, I really love it. I really, really like my desk. Okay. I'm gonna go because I'm losing my voice ever so slowly. And I need it for tomorrow to stand my ground. Um, I'll see you all later. <sighs> and that's about it. I'll hopefully see you tomorrow. And if you come back, then you can see me as well, I suppose. So if that ever happens, I'll catch you later.